Hi, uh, today I will cover client session state pattern. This client session state pattern belongs to session state patterns and uh, this session state patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of uh, client session state pattern. So this is explanation stores session state in client. First we will see what is session. Um, suppose uh, say one user called John, he logins to the Yahoo site. So once you log in, the Yahoo server will create the session. The session will contain the client information. Uh, so, so in this case, uh, client is John. So it will contain John information. Uh, information about the machine ID uh, from which uh, he has logged into the Yahoo server and the username and additional information about the John. Plus, uh, Yahoo server can uh, put some additional information in the sessions. And once user this John user logged into the Yahoo server, this session will be created. Once he uh, log out, this session will be expired. This is a session. This is like a uh, temporary information which will be created in the server. Okay. So we will see the client session state pattern here. Uh, as per the client session state pattern, we have to store the session state in the client okay and uh, so once once we store the session state in the client so in the later request the server can identify uh, from which client the request is coming so that is the main purpose okay and uh, you can see uh, we have uh, two components one is client another one is server and uh, as per the client session state we can store the session state in the client uh, so in this case uh, the client has to send session data to the server on the each request and the server will uh, get the session data and it will do some uh, process and uh, then the server has to return session state back to the client on the each response the client will get the session state and uh, store the session state in the client machine so in that way we can make uh, server as a stateless uh, meaning server no need to maintain the client information okay and uh, here uh, if uh, the session state is small then there is uh, no much problem but if uh, the session state is large then uh, we will have uh, some problem like uh, um, security and if uh, if data is large and transferring data from uh, client to the server and server to the client uh, will decrease the performance and suppose uh, suppose uh, uh, in client machine we are storing the large amount of data if uh, somebody enter uh, enter the client machine and uh, if they open that uh, session state information and if they alter then it will be a problem it's like a security problem so this kind of problems are there also uh, storing large amount of uh, data in the client machine it will be always a problem if uh, client doesn't have that enough memory then it will be a problem okay so these are the small small problems uh, in the client session state uh, management and uh, this is about a client session state uh, design pattern thanks for watching